Okay, the next part about rotation, uh, the transformation of rotation is about the 180 degrees. Though actually I don't need to really discuss on this uh, further, but let me just show you. So, rotation 180 degrees is basically just doing 90 degrees rotation twice. Makes sense, right? Just do 90 and then 90 again. But then we can do it directly and then by that sense is actually if you see the let me just show you the B um, it goes like this okay yeah it's kind of like this it should be um, passing through the, the the coordinate origin the cent this becomes the center the center of uh, rotation so then if you see it's kind of like you know it it's exactly like it's just passing through like that so then it's kind of like this is actually similar to enlargement later you'll see it's an enlargement with scale of factor negative one and it's also the same thing as reflection reflection in or at the point at the origin so or it's the same as the reflection as well uh, twice of reflection in x-axis then Y axis. So if you notice that they will be all the same, and then so then you can just here and then do it there again, rotation or reflection. You will see they they actually just the same. Then the way we do it, it's like just the opposite like this. So then, in terms of the numbers, so let's say the a is three two, and then two five, and then six three, and then four three, and this becomes. Uh, let me change the color. 3, 2 becomes negative 3, negative 2. This is negative 2, negative 5, minus 6, minus 3, and then negative 4, negative 3. Then, which is, I bet you, that you know already the, the, what is it, the pattern, which is if anyone is having A, B rotated by 180 degrees, then it's just minus A or negative A, negative B, which is that's also what we do in reflection.